All right, guys, front strut bar installed, caps on top, making the engine pop, Petty's garage. Jesus. So this, this is one that we just did a lot of work on. It's the one in front of it, right? Mm -hmm. And we sent it down there to mm -hmm. Florida and got So basically do some of these aesthetic mm -hmm. and performance upgrades with the strut bars. Some of the aesthetic things like we showed you, you know, the battery cover yeah. and then the oil catch can. That's stuff we can all, all do in like a day. Yeah. So for your audience only, yeah. use the code word KNOCKOUT360. Mm -hmm. You're going to save 15% on any Petty's Garage item, I mean strut bars, mm -hmm. anything that says Petty's Garage on our website, which yeah. is pettysgarage.com. Check it out, use code word KNOCKOUT360. That'd be awesome. All right, See, got rolling here. That, that runs a Trans Am car right here. Okay. But, uh, you know, he's the next generation. Mm -hmm. So this is small potatoes compared to that over there. <laughs> he's looking at this like, oh, you really want me to do that? I do that shit. That's nothing. So we're up here at Petty's Garage. Good man here, Roland. What's up, guys? Appreciate you for inviting me out here. Absolutely. Petty's Garage. We're in Randleman, North Carolina? Randleman, <laughs> it's technically level cross, but yeah. we are in Randleman. That's what the postcode says. Gotcha. That's what Google was telling me, Randleman, North Carolina. <laughs> As you can see, we got all the Petty cars. Petty Enterprises commitment to win. Got a SRT8 here, clean. 392, I like that. Fat tires. Big chrome rims on there. You see some of the cars up there. Got a big Viper. What's that Impala right there? Mustang. Old school stuff. You ready to do this? So if you want, Thad's gonna walk you, walk through what he's doing right That'll here. That'll work, let's right, do it. Yeah. So we just pop these up, so you can take that off. Mm -hmm. And then the side two, right? And then you got these three bolts right here, these three 13 millimeter bolts. Yeah. Bars them off of there. Pretty straightforward right there. Yeah, pretty straightforward. You can't go wrong. Right. And it's just stiffens your chassis up. I mean, it's really good. Like if you do track stuff or gotcha. anything like that, you know what I mean? You're not getting so much body roll and yeah, all that you're stuff. Not getting so much body roll. Gotcha. You no know, front and rear stuff. I mean, it really just stiffens everything. Like as if you were running a race car. You know? I mean, gotcha. It's, it's more purpose built stuff. Exactly. Um, that's one thing I suffer from with this is body roll because it's yeah. so big and damn heavy. Yeah, these uh, the Mopar stuff is all that way. The Challenger, mm -hmm. Challenger you know, I mean, all everything there is. It's so heavy. Yeah. Um, and it's tough to get those things to turn. Right? It is. <laughs> Going straight is fine, but it's yeah. the turning and slowing down that I have a problem with. Yeah. <clears throat> nice little pop there with the red. Good stuff, man. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. No problem. Good stuff. Gives it a little pop. Nice See that? What's that? A 10, 15 minute install right there? Yeah. You can do that at halftime. You can do it <laughs> waiting on your food to warm up. I mean, you know, simple in and out. So if we were going to do the rear bar, mm -hmm. it would run across right here from yeah. the ear back struts. So like we would have to take up all this carpet. Gotcha. Uh, so you would take this, this panel off back here and then you would take these loose and you would pull all the pins out of here mm -hmm. and just pull the carpet up. And then when you got it out, you'd mark a hole in there. We gotcha. had some um, patterns that we do for all the Mopar stuff gotcha. for the rear bars. So whatever year this is, and then the charger, and then so we do it specifically for the car. Gotcha. And uh, then we heat up a piece of pipe. Okay. And we'll poke a hole in it so it's a nice clean clean hole in the carpet good stuff yeah and then um, when you go back in you'll go with the bar you 
it'll go with the bar straight across here and then it'll fall up there on the where your struts are in there. Gotcha. So that'd be a good clean look. Yeah, set right down across. Mm -hmm. It runs somewhere right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then we have also have a stiffer version that we do mm -hmm. uh, that has uh, extension off the front that yeah. ties into right there in front of the back seat. Gotcha. Uh, so that even stiffens it up even more for those guys that do your autocross. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. Very few people doing autocross in these big ass cars. Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think they're just going straight as fast as they can. Right, but you when, know? You, when you see them doing autocross in this thing, you're yeah. like, what does that mean? Exactly, <laughs> yeah, what is he thinking? Yeah. Mustang or something. Gotcha. You said it'd be a pretty clean hole as far as drilling into there? Because I know a lot yeah, of people so, will probably be worried about that. Yeah, so it's, so we don't drill into there. So okay. So this is what we do. Gotcha. We take this, this piece of tube in the same size mm -hmm. as the strut bar and then we heat it up with a torch you got to get gotcha. really really hot gotcha so just just heat it up heat it up you can see where the uh oh, no. No. carpet has been mm -hmm. burned onto there before you know i mean so it's been heated up and then you got the carpet out you just shove it on the carpet like that nice and it'll fall right through don't gotcha. force it because a lot of people, uh, the mistake that'll happen is they'll try to push it through, sure. and then it ends up messing up. So you just lay it up against it, mm -hmm. and just let it fall gotcha. right through there, and then it'll make a nice, clean, simple hole um, into the carpet. And then, like I was talking about, we got patterns. So like this is the charger, the right side, gotcha. and then that's the charger, the left side for mm -hmm. the carpet. And then, uh, so that's what that's what your hole should look like whenever you get done. And you'll get this when you order this from us. You'll mm -hmm. get the template. You'll get the fastening um, hardware. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. I mean, out of the 10, it's probably a 2 out of the 10 install. Yeah. The difficult part is just taking this all out once it's in. The only other thing, too, like Dad had mentioned, you just get one of those Christmas tree um, fastener. Um, you don't even need that. You can get mm -hmm. a little crowbar or, or some vice grips and just take these little fasteners off. Yeah. It's so easy to put back in. Gotcha. Okay. Now, do you sacrifice a lot of trunk space when you do that? No, because the strut bar is actually sitting back here gotcha. on the extra struts. Mm -hmm. So you have all of this. Still. Okay. Um, but it makes really makes the trunk pop out. Yeah. Really nice. Okay. That's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Wide body kit was installed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. Yeah, take one there and show it to them. We do yeah, a lot of heavy on set. Hell, absolutely. We can get through here. Sweet. We'll come with. I will. All right. So how much power are we talking with some of these kits? Oh boy. Because <laughs> the Hellcats is, I think, standard 707, 717. A lot of the Hellcats that we get after we do the heavy cam packages on, yeah. they usually make around 820-ish yeah. to the rear wheels. Seriously. Yeah, so at the crank, that would be about 900. Damn, that's a uh, demon. Yeah. So. Jesus. Well, this, this is one that we just did a lot of work on. It came here before, this is our custom spoiler. Gotcha. Here. So that's like not what you're going to get from the factory. I like that. And then. I like that spoiler. And then we get, uh, we do our, so that's paint. That's yeah. not a. That's not a wrap or something. Uh, that's, that's paint. So. Yeah. And then we got our pills, brush, pills. And like I said, we did that wide body kit. To yeah. The paint there. So. Yeah. So it was a slim body and then you yeah. guys made it. So you guys do that too. Good stuff. All the little details, you know. Yeah. I mean, even in here we did. You know, we do custom. Oh wow. Shifter and all that. And then the seats. And the seats too. Speedometer, odometer work. So you guys do it all. Door like lights. you will chop it up all the way. Yeah. Like the Petty Blue or the mm -hmm. Rainbows, a lot of times will come red. Yeah. Know. Big pipes. So what's this one putting down, power-wise? Yeah, off the top of my head, I have no idea. Okay. It's a Stage 2, though, so... Stage 2. Is it Scat Pack or Hellcat? This, is, I don't think, is either, but this is an older, okay. older deal. Okay. He's painted to match oh, the yeah. shark in the back. I like that. 
Got the tow hook in there. Yeah. You see those on a lot of Chevys. You don't see them on many Dodge. Eddie's garage. Yeah. 828, 30 plus. Shit. That's a demon. That's petty power. Man. That's petty power. That's yeah. This thing was uh, like the petty. one in front of it, right? Mm -hmm. And we sent it down there to mm -hmm. Florida and got it uh, drop top customs. Oh, and yeah. so it turned it into a convertible. Yeah. Uh, you, this is all airbrush painted on there. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Is that alligator skin? Yeah. Alligator <laughs> Come on, skin bro. Seat. Alligator skin and leather? Mm-hmm. Patty's Garage. Yeah. 426 Hemi? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Man, nobody's doing that. I've never seen anybody doing that. Huge. Yeah, compared to what you get on the normal scat packs. For exactly. Because normally they just give you those cheap, you know, plastic ones. Got the shaker hood, mm. scat pack, MagnaFlow. Yeah. So you guys are really pushing like MagnaFlow pipes and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we're uh, we're partnered with MagnaFlow. So gotcha. We're, so MagnaFlow is most of uh, what we do here. But when I was talking about like making everything under the hood, yeah. I mean, you got your fuse box cover. Damn. You got your caps. You can get blue. The bars blue. Yeah. Uh, like you saw on that side, mm -hmm. your covers blue. Covers blue. Got oil catch can. Oil we still, catch uh, can. We, we got catch cans. Oh, you do catch cans too? Gotcha. 392 Hemi. So you guys are a one stop shop. Like, oh, yeah. literally anything that somebody could want thus far that I've seen, they can get it all from here. Exactly. Right. And then I'll show you the, the rear. This is, nice. this is similar to what we were going to do if we had put the one in your car. So yeah. This gives you an idea. Oh, that's clean. Yeah. See, that's what I meant by like the clean holes, right? Yeah. Like you can't. I mean, it, you can't yeah. even tell the corpus. And you're still not sacrificing, like, space, because you can still get under it, over it. Yeah. And it's far back enough to where, you know, you're still getting a lot of room. Some of the static things, like we showed you, you know, the battery cover. Yeah. And then the oil catch can. That's stuff we can all, all do in, like, a day. Yeah. So it's, it's not that labor. Intensive. It's like a lunch hour. Oh, yeah. Just drop it off and drop see you in 45 minutes to yeah. an hour. Spoilers are kind of labor intensive. Sure. Uh, because you have to take the factory spoiler off, mm -hmm. putty the holes, yeah. bondo everything, sand it, mm -hmm. and then paint everything to match back. Gotcha. So it, the spoilers are a little uh, labor intensive because um, the, the factory holes are mounted up here. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you don't want to drive around with holes in your deck lid. You sure. Know? So uh, we fill it in. Our body guy over there, Boyd, he does a good job of making everything look like it came from the factory. Yeah. So, partner Dino Jet, uh, we use all their stuff to do the chassis oh, yeah. Dino over here. So, we'll back your car up on, mm -hmm. and then uh, on that TV, real time, while it's getting run, yeah. you'll see all your numbers. And uh, we've had all kinds of stuff on this Dino. We've had race cars, we've had the Mopar stuff. We really? Just did, uh, a Corvette uh, that was about that over a thousand horsepower. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, we did. It was an 06 Corvette with the LS engine, and mm. we took the engine out and redid everything. And, yeah. Uh, we did that here too. Fred did it all. So. Good. See, like those are what the strut bars look like. Yeah. Uh, and that, I mean, that's him well and more. Mm-hmm. You guys got it all. Do they get painted here too, or is that like yeah, a separate? Yeah, everything. So uh, the process, he'll weld them right there. Yeah. They go on the rack, or he uh, builds them to order. Gotcha. And then we'll take them up to the body shop. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, first we sandblast them, and then we take them to the body shop. Gotcha. He cleans everything off and paints it to the color of the car or mm -hmm. whatever the customer wants. If they want a pink one and they got a red car, we yeah. do it. I mean, whatever they want, right? I believe I believe y'all seen it all, color wise. Yeah. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> or you want to say it? I don't know what the special code is. <laughs> okay. Chance, knockout 360. That's the special code? Go ahead, man. All right. So for your audience only, yeah. use the code word knockout 360. Mm -hmm. You're going to save 
on any Petty's Garage item. That means strut bars, mm -hmm. anything that says Petty's Garage on our website, which yeah. is pettysgarage.com. Check it out. Use code word KNOCKOUT360. There you go. 15% off. Yes, sir. Sounds good. KNOCKOUT360. They should be able to remember that. <laughs> This car kind of looks like it belongs here. You know, it looks oh, like it kind of yeah. fits in. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you fit right in. This yeah. Is, this is a natural scene in the shop. Yeah. Cars like this, so mm -hmm. you fit in right at home here. All right, guys. Front strut bar installed. Caps on top. Making an engine pop. Petty's Garage. Look at that from a distance, though. Like, that's clean. Let's go ahead and close it down. Patty's Garage. That's dope.